we see you holding in your own body um, a template of Sophia, but we begin with Sophia being a sound. It is a resonance. It is the original harmonic upon which Gaia herself was born and seeded. It's a very nourishing and ample environment for creativity and exemplifying life force into both non-physical and physical potentials. Sophia is a loving frequency that is, is equal to Christ consciousness, but actually holds a universal presence as well. It is something that many of us understand uh, moves through the galactic universe and is present within the galactic grids. It is what holds and sustains a coherent and loving environment whereby we are all able to exchange resources and abundance, not deliberately and physically as you do on your planet today, but to ensure that all are able to manifest in the highest state of love and and the presence of their divine blueprint which is something that has been stolen from humanity today it is not that you are here to teach so much as you are activating and holding space for the inner teaching that everyone must connect to the inner knowing that allows everyone to walk the path of their highest evolution and this is the best teacher in in, in presence today on the planet the resonance of earth is a very potent and valuable one. There is a reason that she is named Gaia and referred to as Sophia because she of all planets and stars in this galaxy was birthed in the, the most abundant feminine energy. And this is what we were taught to utilize and tap in through, into through sacred ceremony. It was a consciousness that all humans are meant to connect to, but many had fallen short of or forgotten as they were forced into false identities and roles. We were merely bringing them back into balance with this abundant frequency, Sophia, that can be utilized as a constant and ever-present tool of infinite love. And that infinite love is all-knowing, all-healing, all-being, all-sourcing, all-abundant, all things. We bring this to you now as an explanation because we feel it flows through you and into others effortlessly. You are connecting to us and many others, and you are guided through practice to bring people into a state of coherence with this field. It is an ever abundant loving presence whereby organic healing can take place. Where anything that is not equal to the highest state of purity and love that we are must immediately evacuate. We bring this to you now because we do think it is a part of your service on the planet today to bring others into this state of love that we speak of. It may seem very abstract and not have a direct pathway, but from our perspective, it must be present in every spiritual teaching, uh, in every instance of healing that takes place in an earthly human uh, experience, because if it is not there, the full instance of evolution possible cannot take place. The Magdalenas step in and they are front and center. Ah, they're so pleased and honored to be with us today. And they're going to share one more message. And then we're going to combine this all together and ground it for you in some realistic viewpoints about what you are doing and how it is achieved. And they say, you have a direct lineage with many of us. You have been present both as a galactic ambassador, assisting and supporting the evolution of Christ consciousness on the planet, even at the time that Master Jesus walked the earth. But you've also been present with us in the etheric as a sisterhood, 
um, offering insights and valuable information about how humanity was navigated away from their inner presence of compassion and truth and how it could be rectified, how Earth herself would benefit when all humans went through their highest instance of awakening. We see that you are in deep response to what the collective is calling from you. It is not something that is meant um, to be put in a neat package uh, and looked at through linear eyes. Uh, it is something that, if you will allow it, um, will continue to flow uh, and expand and change. And times of deep initiation with us will be the instance for growth and new harmony. Downloading not only uh, valuable matching insights necessary to share, whether that be harmonically through your voice or through your process, uh, as well as uh, very grounded tools for humanity to walk through the next several years at a time when the planet herself is reconfiguring to a new expression. So think of yourself as a facilitator through and by which many of us are able to, in real time, in a quantum way, step into the field of another and harmonically tune them to whatever is most necessary for their higher perspective to emerge. This can be looking at themselves in a specific light. It can be emerging from a meditative process and experiencing something in the outer world that immediately resolves karma. It can also be um, a way of perceiving the world that is different than they ever have achieved before. But all of this is a transmutation of density. And we bring this to your attention now because the Sophia collectives that are present on the planet today are not only instilling wise words of wisdom and practices to support evolution, but they are uh, even sometimes unconscious to their own knowing, clearing anything that stands in the way of this harmonic tuning to take place. So we offer to you that we do see you actually bringing people into the harmonic resonance of this Sophia energy through your crystalline uh, container, through your own preparation, through your time traveled events with us. A very significant part of your assignment in this moment is to continue your service in a group scenario in such a way that you are creating the opposite of something we see as so deliberate and and purposely leading humanity away from Sophia. This is something that is very egoic in nature. It is masculine, although we don't put it uh, masculine in a state of negativity. We think that mas masculine is much needed on the planet in perfect balance to the feminine. But when it is out of balance as it has been for many years, this is where much of the mass destruction has taken place upon earth but we're giving you a reflection into what we see your purpose is right now and it is to keep people in such a high vibrational state of love in the constant quandary of who they are and how they relate to people in the right of sophia in the passage of compassion and gratitude and service that what is created in that, that realm is strengthened individually by those that participate with you and through collective participation. Much of the grid work that you have been called to do and will continue to be called to do with the support and assistance of others may be focused upon very uh, massive areas where earth elements are implicated in the shift of human consciousness. Those of us who are here, we make up a collective of elder, feminine, um, ancient grandmothers who are also 
very well versed and bathed in the light of Sophia and have grounded on the earth in various geographic regions in different timelines to express and work with it. We've come together now and maybe working with you or speaking to you to actually lay the foundation for a new grid. Uh, we look at this grid as uh, something that has been present in ancient timelines that has become somewhat broken, uh, that requires all of our effort, and you may be the grounding point on the earth through which it is laid. This may build within your consciousness as you interact with us the need or the desire to create a more massive type of interaction with people in certain geographic locations, whereby we will be present in the astral and you will be holding points in your location on the earth to bring back a native template that will support the next several linear years on earth. 